Hello, this is Melorian, and this is going to be a 2500 point game of my orcs against some empire. So the game we got was just the regular battle line. Uh, left to right, I have my squig herd horde, I have my 100 night goblins with one boss, river trolls, my savage horde with my great savage shaman in there. Behind them is the bunker with the BSB, I got a single troll, and then my black orc horde on the far right. Uh, for him, he has this whole war machine thing there going on the, the hill there with two cannons. He has a mortar and he has a hell blaster. Uh, he also has an engineer standing with them. He has ten hot hand gunners. Then he has his great swords. And there's, I think, some mage in there. Another ten hand gunners behind the building. Oh, sorry, actually, those guys are kind of being in the building. There's like a big horde of like 50 swordsmen. Uh, and he has a couple of characters in there. Then he has some outriders and some pistoliers that went and uh, vanguarded up. You can also see on the left I had some wolves that vanguarded up. Then behind him he has 11 core knights with a warrior priest with them. And yeah, for terrain we got a bunch of these uh, obstacles here. A lot of the ones you can see there in the center are ghost fences. We got a couple of hills going on. He has a regular building up there, a forest on the right. And on the left, that little globe thing, that's that sorcerer's portal, so it'll be casting magic at us. And then I have this little evil settlement on settlement on the bottom left, and that has that bane stone in the middle left. But I mean, that won't really matter anything in this game. So for my thoughts, obviously you can see he has a whole bunch of shooting, he has a whole bunch of magic, he has a, a level 4 with a lower life, and a level 2 with beasts. So, you know, I don't think he has very much that's going to hold me back from combat, so really the whole thing is just rush up and kill things. So he wins first turn which I think is great because I can now charge with these wolves but it turns out he shoots the hell blaster at them. Uh, he First single dice he does was a misfire. Rerolls because the engineer gets a six. Does another dice. Misfire again. So this time he can't fix it. It's number six on the, the table so that means the rest of the ones are tens and then explodes. So obviously my wolf riders are destroyed but this will kind of be a theme for him during the the course of the game that he just kept on doing these misfires. So yeah, his first turn pretty ineffective. You know, he has a couple of units that kind of moved up, fired a couple of shots at me, but you know, really did pretty much nothing. His mortar scattered, uh, or actually, it, maybe it misfired. I can't remember. Uh, sorry, and actually, just to describe too, those night goblins are in the building currently, but he shot both cannons at my trolls. I caught both of them, you know, did my, doing my saves. Uh, when his outrider shot into my savages, I went and he only did two wounds and I saved both of them. So, I mean, in the end, he did pretty much nothing to me. Uh, magic phase, I think he got the throne of vines off, but yeah, pretty much a, a nothing turn other than trading my wolves for his uh, hell blaster. So my turn one, and again you can see like last report, my thing's still on the, the night vision thing, so it's little weird pictures. But anyway, uh, night goblins move out of the building, move up, everything else just moving up at this point. Uh, my single troll had actually charged the pistoliers to try and scare them off, but didn't really work. He kind of shot at me, did nothing, and then I failed the charge. Uh, then with the magic phase, I made it so my one shaman got the plea, plus three attacks and strength. And with the hand of Gork, I went and teleported up my squig herd horde on the far left. So I mean now his war machine hill is just completely screwed. And uh, once that's gone, it's going to be a mop up. So a couple of things to show from, from this picture here. First of all, you can see the two dice behind me. So far the portal has been really busy making these guys of mine having plus one toughness. So I'm loving that. Now, he did something at the, at the time that I thought was genius. He swift reformed his great swords and then marched them over to block my squig herd so that now I couldn't get by. And I'd have to deal with them instead of destroying all those expensive war machines. Uh, one problem with that that we didn't realize until like turn 5 is that when you swift reform, you can't march. But whatever, I made it a, a better game, most more close game. Uh, second of all, then when he started casting some magic, he got the big blast, so went and did like the strength 10 huge blast, decimated the great swords, and now even though he's blocking me, he's probably not going to hold me up too long unless he really busts these guys up. So end of his turn two, it looks like this. He, you can see that he moved up his one swordsman to go block my my trolls. 
Uh, he did a couple of wounds to them this time, so that was nice. But you can see back on his, his hill there that his one cannon misfired and can't shoot this turner next. And at some point his mortar got the same thing. Uh, otherwise, he's shooting into me. I lost a couple of savages, and his pistoliers are over there uh, killing three of my black orcs and just, you know, harassing me. So my turn two, some real mixed results here, really. Uh, on the far left, I charged into those great swords, killed a, a couple of them. I think they had a flesh to stone on them, so there's only so much I can do. Uh, in the middle, I charged my my trolls into his swordsmen, and I thought, okay, whatever, I have nothing else. I'm going to hold these guys up while my night goblins move up for a flank. However, I, I didn't really realize, and it's my fault for not paying attention, that his general and his BSB were in the unit, so they really kind of brutalized my trolls. I lost, got ran down, and now he kind of broke through my lines. Uh, otherwise, I charged his outriders. They fled, got away. Uh, moved up my troll so that he couldn't flank my black orcs while my black orcs charged the pistoliers and almost sent them off the board. They're not quite there. And then apart from this, my magic didn't really do anything. If anything, I think this was my negative turn where I tried doing the foot of Gork and he used his destruction seal or whatever it is that dispelled it and destroyed the spell. So it's completely gone now. So his turn three, still looking a little interesting. Uh, he has we really had to really kind of look at this charge of the swordsman because no matter what unit he charged, he couldn't really actually close the door or whatever you call it, close the gate. So if he would have charged the savages, which is what he wanted to do, I couldn't even correct to him because I couldn't wheel back because of those night goblin archers behind. So in the end, we just said, okay, go fight the night goblins on the left, and they wheeled over, and then he was you know, in the beginning of my flank, and then after I held a combat reform to face him, he charged my savages with my, uh, with his knights, and man, that was just brutal. I killed all but one in the one warrior priest. Uh, they fled and got away, and then when I charged them, or when I like, tried to pursue them, I hit, I just clipped the very end of the swordsman, so I have like one guy fighting, so that's a horrible place to have them. Uh, my squigs keep on eating over there, and uh, his pistoliers rallied, came back, and shot down a couple more black orcs just uh, to pick on me. So here's just a little extra picture of showing this very annoying system where right now my night goblins aren't getting their full attacks and my savages aren't getting their full attacks. And I'm trying to deal with these stupid characters in there. He actually has the three characters. He has that BSB, his general, and that metal guy in the far left, which is actually a musician. This is his level four uh, or no, it's his beast guy, I think. So my turn three again. Sorry for the fuzzy picture. Now he was actually really happy where I was clipping things in there, but he didn't realize that I still do quite a bit of attacks. So I beat him and broke him, and uh, he actually managed to outpace both my units. And we were really again, we didn't know what to do with these savages here because where are you supposed to really line them up? I mean, if you if it's more like 7th where you should have brought them back and run from back there, I would have been still partly within the, the Night Goblin Archers, so whatever. We kind of put them where they were there. They kind of just bumped into the troll. Uh, his two Night Guys kept on running. I keep on killing his great swords on the far left. I mean, they keep on being so buffed with magic, there's only so much I can do. And his uh, I go and I scare off his Pistoliers on the... The, the far right here as well so you know it, it's going okay breaking those swordsmen was great but it's just it just seems that something that looked like this game is going to be so easy is just not happening because I just can't finish off these swordsmen I mean the BSB died when they broke and I can't finish off those great swords I mean if those two things would happen this whole game would just be completely over but I just can't really get in that finishing blow and then, of course, these pistoliers, or pistoliers, I'm not going to say pistoliers because you guys get mad at me, but anyway, these pistoliers rally again, move to my flank, and, you know, this is a thing where, I think, again, both of us saw this as a tactical advantage. I mean, he just loved that he had these pistoliers running around, shooting me, and keeping this whole horde of black orcs busy, but then again, these black orcs didn't have really anything to engage, so really their job was just to keep these pistoliers busy, maybe panic them off the board, but if nothing else, keep them away from my bunker. So otherwise, end of his turn four looks like this. 
His swordsmen rallied. His uh, the rest of his cav ran off the board. Uh, outriders went and went to the other side. I finally now killed the last of his great swords, and now the mage is fleeing. It also panicked the hand gunners, so they're fleeing. And so now at least I'm open to really do a lot of damage over there. He also, though, he actually finally got some good luck with his war machines, and he did some damage to my bunker and made it flee. So there's at least something going for him. So then on my turn four, the squig herd goes and charges the one. Uh, wait, I, I charge the cannon, destroy it, go into the other cannon. In doing that, that. No, I think I first touched the hand gunners that were fleeing first that made them re-flee so they kind of fled all the way through those other hand gunners through the building and now they're on the other side. My knight goblins and my troll charged his swordsman. Uh, I beat him by something like three but he held and then otherwise you know, my savages are, are reforming to kind of face in now while my archers keep fleeing but it's just a thing where just like the black orcs there's nothing really happening on this side of the board for them to, to engage I mean if I was smart I would have reformed them now to be five wide so I could sneak in but I didn't his turn five uh, he manages to to now beat me you know uh, in the night goblin swordsman battle it was actually a draw but he had a musician and I didn't so I lost by one and my troll ran away uh, his pistoliers are back picking on my bunker, so that's no good. That's not what I wanted to have. But otherwise, you can see my squeaker at the top is starting to really rack in some points for me where I destroyed the other cannon and now combat reform the base's engineer and his mortar. So they're just kind of cleaning things up and making sure I, I score the win. So then on my turn five, the squeaker goes, kills the engineer, goes into the mortar. My night goblins rally. Uh, that was the one nice thing would have my savages deployed the way I did is that at least they were within my general's leadership and then I used my magic I finally got some magic to do something and hand of gork them up here so they won't be charged by the pistoliers and then in uh, you know, my troll rallies and my little stabby stabby night goblins keep on killing some of these uh, swordsmen but the big thing is it heaps on now buffing these guys with magic right so either having you know the plus one toughness or getting the lore life things on them so they're just really hard to try and finish off. And then his turn six, it was finally over. You know, he just didn't have enough magic then finally on these guys. And I beat enough, they broke, and I I can't even remember if we even figured out if I ran them down or not, but he said, okay, that's that's enough now. Everything's now been pretty much mopped up. So victory to the orcs. Um this kind of picture kind of shows what my opponent was pretty sure that the, the results was due to and that's because he got a lot of misfires on his war machines I'd say it was probably about I don't know, probably like a third of his artillery dice that he rolled turned out to be a misfire it would just be ridiculous the number of times that he was getting these misfires that I mean even when his engineer would try and fix I mean then he'd get a, another misfire another long down the way or you know then when he actually gets the shoot my troll is just catching the cannonballs it was just it was ridiculous uh, anyway a big thing is even if he was going through though it was kind of a really bad matchup he was really shooty uh, his level 4 didn't get the uh, dwellers so he didn't really have enough to deal with the large hordes like I had uh, it was really good that at least you know he had those great swords that went over and blocked my my squig herd and that his swordsmen went and beat my river trolls and then get held up because if it wasn't for that I mean this game would have been over right away it wasn't wouldn't have been a game at all so at least that happened so it was at least entertaining so hope you guys liked watching it